is your girl Tama Stitches. If I join us for the first time, you are highly welcome. Please, if you are viewing my channel, please subscribe, press the notification bell, so that once we upload any new video, you'll be notified immediately. If you want to pitch at us on any question or any request, go to our Instagram page. Our Instagram page is on the screen there. Thank you very much. So today I want to show us how to draft a wrap peplum blouse. So let's get started. Our basic measurements, we have our shoulder. The shoulder I'm using is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2 will give you 8 inches plus half inch joint allowance. Then we'll have our, here's the shoulder line. Then we'll have the chest line. Call it chest line. Then we'll have the bust point. Then we'll have the half length. Here's our half length. Then this is the, uh, uh, the joining allowance. That's allowance now. I added one inch allowance. So I call it allowance. So I've been starting the neckline of three inches to five inches. By right now you know this. The neck depth I'll be using here. The neck depth I'll be using here is uh, three inches also. Rub it out. But the back neck depth is going to be one inch. You see what I'm doing? So use our curve ruler. Then we'll add our shoulder slant three quarter inch and join it. So we we'll now insert our bust measurement. Our bust measurement divided by four plus showing allowance. I'll be adding that here. I'm adding it at the chest line. I'll take the same to the bust point. Whatever I have there, we'll put it down to the chest point. Then come to the waist measurement. The waist measurement divided by four plus sewing allowance. I'll be adding that here too. Same thing goes down. So let's join it. Join them together. Okay. Now I'll be inserting my dart. Don't forget to come in by half inch for the armhole. So you curve it out like this. If you watch my videos, you see the way we'll do it. And curve it in like this. Okay. So we're done with our armhole. Now to insert our our uh that we use the ball span measurement so the ball span i'm using here divide by four sorry give uh, the ball span divide by two will give me four four plus half inch allowance that'll give me four and a half i'll mark it all the way down okay, yeah. So from our boss point now, I can come down by half inch. So here we'll add our half, uh, one, half inch, just making one inch for the dart. And we'll connect it. So I would like to add a dart by the side. So how I get that, I come here, by the boss point, come down by 2 inches, I mark that here, I come down from the boss point by 2 inches, and I connect that to my boss point line. Done that, that's my side that now. All I need to do is take a half inch on this side half inch on this side 
and I'll join them to the line. So I now have a dart by the side and a one dart by the center front. And see, see the two darts we have now. So what I need to do now is to cut it off because I'm going to be using the back. I just did the back. I did the marking for the front on the back so that once I cut it off, I use it now to cut my front. My front is two piece. So let me cut this off and show you what I'm trying to do. So after adding this our side uh, that you won't leave it like it because if you cut it like this, you will be missing out some. It will not sit in well by the side. So you have to do what we call to true it. So you have to fold it in so that by the time you take in the dart, it will still be flat. So if you look at this now, the line is not matching. So what I need to do now is to ensure that the line matches. So there's a space here. I have to make it to match. It has to match the line. So that by the time I cut it off, and open it up it will not be short when I'm doing my clothes so this is what we have here if you look now you see there's an extra here so I will call to true your dart so here is what I have I have our side dart here and then we have our center uh, normal dart here so I'm going to use this now, as you can see how it looks, so I'll open up this dart, so when I'm cutting my fabric, I'll remember to mark this dart space here, to mark it on it. Now I'm going to use this to cut the back first, after cutting the back, with the, cutting the back of the material, I'll bring it back, so that I'll be able to cut our, our this thing, the wrap. Because it's going to be two pieces, one side on this side, one side. But I can as well mark it now so that you see it before I cut the back of the material. So looking at it now, what I need to do, for me, I would prefer to extend this neckline by a little bit, maybe by one and a half, or one inch if I like, or one and a half. So it will be open. If you open it up like this. I'll still use the same thing I have here. At least it will be a little bit. It depends on what you want. Either you open it up or you still leave it the way it is. Now I'll come down here at the waistline because I want to cut it towards this way. I'll come up by come up by three inches or two and a half inches. I want you to see exactly what I'm doing. I'll come up by two and a half inches here, mark it. Then on the waistline, this is coming up. From the waistline, you come up by two and a half inches. Then you now come towards the inside, towards the dark line by three inches. So I'll make that line. That two and a half inch line here, straight line. Now I can use my curl ruler to form the neckline. For that neckline, it just needs towards here. Or you can use a free hand, depends on what you want to have something like this. Depends on the shape you want for your your front wrap. So this is what I want to use from the nip of this neckline. I curve it out to this place and then take it down. I'll be cutting off this when I want to cut my front uh, wrap.
So here I've cut the front, see the first piece and the other piece. So I will, I will match the dots together because I'm going to take it to the machine and fix the stitch the dots. Now I've cut my peplum. The video on how to cut this peplum is already on my uh, YouTube page. I'll add the link to it on how to get this beautiful peplum. I cut the peplum into two. Because I'm going to be attaching it to the wrap uh, blouse. Okay, and see how it's look, beginning to form well. Now I have a collar I want to fix. I want to fix this collar. So I've cut it out. Let me remove this. And see how beautiful it looks. So I've, I cut two pieces. I'll take it to the machine and stitch the upper part, top stitch it. Then now join it from the down part to the body of the collar. So first thing first is for me to take it to the machine and attach all my dart and stitch all my dart first. Then I'll bring you back. So I'll take it to the machine. I've attached the peplum down. You can see our peplum here. I've attached it down. And I curve the edge. So what is left for me to do now? is to attach this our collar i've already turned it you can see so i need to attach it from here to this side and to the other side and to be very beautiful before we now come and attach the sleeve so stay tuned while i, I fix the collar and then bring it back so i've taken it to the machine and i fixed our collar see how beautiful it looks See our color here. Now you can see that that I put there gives room for the boys to sit in well. Then I've turned it. You can see how beautiful our cloth looks. So what is just left now is to cut my stripe for the belt and attach it, then attach my sleeve. And this tutorial is done. So if this tutorial has been helpful, please give us thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share our video. If you have any comments, please put it down in the comment section or you can send it to our Instagram page, Tama underscore 19. Thank you very much for watching this video. Stay safe. Tama Stitches love you. You won't do it too much.